Taxpayer dollars wasted? Not on his watch. Aiden Your Side's Mark Douglas is making sure your hard-earned money isn't going down the drain because you paid for it. Our investigation this week on mandatory school sports insurance really hit a nerve. School districts are playing defense, and some parents who pay for it are hopping mad about what they get in return for their premiums. Now, tonight we have a story of a single mom who is saddled with thousands in hospital bills because her policy did not pay off. But she paid, and she is still paying, and that's why Mark is on it tonight. And this woman's son suffered a concussion at football practice, but with the Hillsborough Schools Insurance Company, they didn't, they didn't pay for this. Not even a penny, Keith, because of one of the many exclusions in this policy. Now, her son did recover from his injury, but she's still writing checks to pay for his treatment. King High School linebacker Kenny Johnson has a lot of great moments on the playing field and one on the practice field he'd like to forget. Did you see stars that day? Yes, sir. Johnson saw stars that day in April 2015 when he knocked heads with two other players. And ever since, his mother has seen dollar signs, too many of them, on hospital bills she's still paying for. You ended up still owing out of pocket how much? Maybe about 3500 and you had to pay that? Still paying, yes. School insurance didn't cover it? No. What's wrong with that? I think there's a problem. It turns out there's a gaping exclusion for off-season practice in the accident policy that Hillsborough schools make every student athlete buy. And if we're required to have that insurance prior to my kids stepping on the field, it should be covered for the whole school year. Johnson says she didn't know Kenny wasn't covered for spring training, not until the insurance company rejected her injury claim. When you heard that, what went through your mind? I'm like, why do I have it? What is it for? That was a $50 I could have used on a pair of cleats or something other than just getting this insurance. The district insists yet another policy is supposed to cover that kind of off-season school sports injury. Football coaches at every Hillsborough school are required to have that third-party coverage in place when they use school practice fields in the spring. But even though Kenny's injury was well documented as a school incident, Johnson insists no one ever told her about that second insurance policy. And the coach never told you, hey, I've got you covered on the insurance? No, I don't recall him saying anything about that. The mandatory insurance she had to buy did not cover the injury. The coach's policy she never knew about might have. But she may have whisked, missed the window of opportunity for filing that claim because she didn't know about it. Well, it, it, it just common sense. I don't think anybody would unless you really sat down and read through the fine print. But what about this second policy that the coach was supposed to have? A Is lot it of, in force? <laughs> a lot of mystery about that tonight. We've been asking about that for two days. They've been scrambling to find that paperwork for two days. And so far, the folks at King High School can't find any paperwork to reflect there was a policy. But they're still trying, and we're going to stay on it because at the end of the day, she paid for it. All right. Thank you, Mark. Sure.